Hey everyone, well, we're gonna try to get this um, piston pushed in, pistons pushed in. They are a little on the crustier side, but we're gonna ew, fall over here in a minute. All right, we're gonna lube them up again. I've done this once, but we're gonna do it again before we push them in. Also, um, whenever you're doing a, ow, whenever you're doing a motorcycle, um, brake change and you want to push the pistons in, you got to open the blader. Um, the reservoir ain't big enough. It's not like a car that you can just push the pistons in. You've got to, um, open the blader. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to open the blader a little bit, <clears throat> put our spreader in there. See if the pistons will go in. We're hoping, but getting kind of stiff. I'm starting to get some fluid out though. So it means they're moving a little bit, I think. We're gonna go slow with this. We don't wanna go a little bit. Give it a minute. Um, let me. Ooh. Let me get a. Rag over here. Oh man. Yeah, these are going in pretty, pretty slow here. We're going in a little bit. We're waiting a minute because we don't want to roll that or damage that O-ring in the O-rings inside there. A little bit. See, it's coming out. <clears throat> Yeah, I repeat, this is not a car. You don't just run them in there. I'm going to try to get all the way down here. So you can see my feet again. Well, um, also, on the uh, rear exhaust uh, install video, I'm terribly sorry we lost a whole crap ton of footage of putting the, putting the uh, rear wheel on. I tried the chest... The chest mount and it was just too low and the it wasn't even worth putting on there so I apologize for that we're not gonna do that again so from here on out we'll do the tripod or whatever but yeah I lost I lost some footage from um, trying the chest mount and I thought maybe you could just walk around with me but did not work at all. It didn't come out for shit. <clears throat> I couldn't even put it on the put it on the video. I just deleted it. So I apologize. You missed uh, some steps of putting on the rear wheel. <clears throat> Used a, um, a breaker bar ratchet on the uh, rear wheel, 24 millimeter. Ended up uh, bumping it a couple times with my impact. Um, just to make sure it's good because I didn't have someone holding the, holding the weight down and keeping the rear wheel from moving so I just bumped it a couple times with the impact and then uh, of course the after um, that I took the harness off put it back on the tripod and you got to see the exhaust going on so oh I'm getting stiff again getting stiff again come on girl you know you want to go together here mm.
Yeah, we, I mean, we don't want to break any of this, so we're going easy. It's And we want to get some of that lube in there. It's all about the lube. Take this bleeder right out. How do you like that, Gertrude? Okay. Oh my god, it's it's pretty stiff going in for sure. Just moves a little bit at a time, I know it's a Maybe getting bored with this, you may have to double tap on it or whatever to, but, okay, wait, nope, not hitting there yet. I need you to slide in there, girl. She's not wanting to go in there for sure. Mm -mm. Wow. Everything's a big fight, eh? Mm. Everything's a big fight. Damn. That's giving me a caliper. I'll rebuild this one. I don't know if you can see or not, but the fluid's just barely coming out. So, hmm. I don't like how stiff that is for sure. Yeah, see, it's not. It's not wanting to go in there. Okay, hey everyone, <clears throat> we're back. I think I pretty much got him in all the way. Now, um, on <clears throat> 93 and older, I do believe, I don't 
exactly know what the split year is. 93 and later, like 95, 96, 97, 98, this caliper cannot be taken off with the wheel on. The wheel has to be off to get this caliper off. On my 93, <clears throat> I can unbolt the caliper off from the bike with the wheel on. So, a little bit more of a pain in the ass. But, they say you can change the brakes without having to pull the caliper. There's a slotted thing right here. Uh, little cap. Little cap. And uh, then there's a Allen bolt inside there that holds the brakes on. Well, then... The clip came off, and I was trying to figure out where it went. Finally figured out how it goes. It goes way up here towards the, towards the pin. So I was trying to put it back here. It didn't work. So finally got that in. Then I got the pistons in far enough so we can slide the brakes in. So now we going to install this onto this bracket oh, what the? oh that was some my side piece to mine okay make sure your caliper moves back and forth like this okay now we're going to this goes on the other side of this piece here okay Getting the front wheel on is a it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. So especially with this damn caliper that's positioned right here. I gotta slide the slide the um, rotor up in between the caliper. So yay. Makes doing the front wheel a little bit a little bit harder on on a later model. I'll get it out here in a minute. If I could stick my damn fucking. Alright. I don't know if you can see or not, but there you go. Um, there's my crush washer. It's another banjo fitting. The brake line is a banjo. So, I'm going to take that bolt out so I don't lose it. And put it over here. There's my nut for my, there's my bolt with my speedo. There's my spacer that I'm going to have to try to wiggle up in there at the same time I'm holding the front wheel. It is going to be fun. I'm going to have to jack the front up a little bit, I think. Got some stability there. Let's, um, I don't know where your best vantage point is. Probably somewhere around there. I don't know. It's going to be, this ain't going to be, you know, a fun chore. All right. Let's see how we're going to wheel this thing in here. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Gotta put this on here. All right, let's hope this is a one-shot deal. One shot and done. So. I got this speedo piece we need to put on this side of the rim. Okay. 
And we need to position ourselves a little bit in the front of it. Okay. Okay, let's get a little bit more forward so we get Ouch. Oh my god, I just lost some of my head. Damn, if I can zip tie. Oh! I knew it wasn't gonna go first time, right? And why would it? Oh, this side ain't. Alright, this side ain't working. Want to go here. All right, maybe. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Come on, we're hoping to. We're gonna see a bolt here. Okay, if I can fucking see. Why are you fucking struggling? Oh, there we go. All right, my speedo is turning. I am on the bottom side of the bottom side of the notch over there. Got my washer on. Got my nut started. Okay, speedo's turning. Now, let's see if we can get these damn pads in here like they say it's so freaking easy. Okay, let's put this the right way. This way. Oh my God. Shit fire. Okay. That one's in. Okay, so now we're gonna try to slide this other one. Up in here. Okay. Oh, I got it. Okay. Doesn't feel like the top's not in there right. Oh yeah, these are so easy, they said. Yeah. Oh, my damn clip fell out. Son of a bitch. Oh. Son of a bitch. I hope I can get that in there. I can take the whole damn wheel off. Okay, so this clip is a fucking pain in the ass. 
Okay. The damn clip's in there. Flip it around, flip it around. And that locks both pads in there. Tighten that up. And then this cap goes on here. I got a screwdriver over there. I'll tighten that. There you go. Brakes are in. And, um... Oh. Make sure it's in the groove over here. On this side. Up on top. She's in the top groove. Alright. Brakes are in. Bolts in for the wheel. We gotta tighten her up. Put the speedo cable on. And uh, we'll be done with that. <clears throat> We're back. Let's get some more done. Okay. We're um, tightening this front wheel. As we're tightening, we're making sure we still got good movement. Oh. All right, she's good. So now we're gonna. Put this speedo cable on <coughs> over here. Over here, speedo cable. All right, so. There's a spinning plate in there. <clears throat> and there's a notch in there. And those two need to line up to go together. So you want to spin it and push it in at the same time. Put your screw in. All right, front wheel's on. Now we gotta work on some brakes. Thomas said there was no um, brake uh, resistance on the lever, so we're gonna see if we can't get these bled out, but we gotta put her back together since we 
took it all apart and we've got to put this cap back on I know I'm right away sorry <clears throat> okay so first we gotta put this cap back on so we don't Okay, that's on there. Okay, now remember, remember the banjo bolts. Got two uh, washer on both sides. It's your banjo. So, putting that back together. <coughs> and do we have, whoa, watch out now. Watch out behind you. Oh, buggy, man. oh yeah, that's the one. Alright, then you got your let's um pick you up a little bit. Keep my battery cover open so that I can Alright, that's tight. Then your leader is going to go in here. Hmm. Okay. And then we'll be. Oh, cha 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 cha. <clears throat> we'll have to add some fluid up here, probably. going on up here I think Thomas said he put some fluid in there but... pop the cover off here and see if maybe we can get some brakes blended Do, do, do. <clears throat> All right, that's gonna stay with it. Let's keep those two together right on the screwdriver here. Set that down there. Alright. <clears throat> Looks good and clean in there. So we're going to put that back on there. We're going to put that back on there. And then, just to keep everything dry while we bleed these brakes so we don't want that splashing out all over the place okay so We're going to have to <clears throat> find us a, God, that light is horrible. I just can't get a good light. All right. That's probably where I'm placing it. I need a ring light and all that shit, so. All right, welcome back. Let's see if we can get some brakes in this thing. I'm going to squeeze the lever a couple times here. I'm 
nothing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I got that loose. I'm gonna pull my brake pedal and my brake lever in, then tighten, let off the brake lever, loosen, pull in my brake lever, tighten, let it go, open, pull in, close, release the hand. You hear the air coming out, going all the way down, tightening, letting off the lever. Open. Okay. Then we're going to let that gravity a little bit. I may have to um, remove the cover to get it to gravity bleed. So I'm gonna go remove the cover. Alright, I got the cover removed. We don't want to get this dirty. So we'll set it right here on that. I'm just pumping up here for a whole bit. So sometimes it will actually you can get them to bleed themselves. No bubbles are coming out. <clears throat> this master cylinder may be bad. Nothing happening. No action. So, when he may have to Put a new mesh cylinder on there. We'll open this up here. If I get fluid to come out, maybe I could feel better about this. No fluid coming through that bad boy at all. I got a bad master cylinder. <clears throat> so, onward and forward, we'll move on to 
something else get these we we'll have to clean this stuff up <clears throat> clean all this area up back it up out in the driveway so I can blow those lines out so starting to get hot we are going to um, end with uh, in the video with this it's uh, rollable and I'll be able to roll it outside and um, clean those lines out you know what to do subscribe support me come on help me out all right well that's how you uh, put a front tire and front brakes on so thanks for watching I will see you when I see you